Hi guys, this is Lance with Nine Locals. Gonna walk you through our latest project. As you can see, it's a burn house. We picked this up for next to nothing. Uh, we bought it from another fellow investor who had bought it in the sheriff's auction previously and had it as a rental. He unfortunately did not have insurance on the property, so when it burned, he lost out on the money and has no way to repair it. We are gonna try to save the house. Uh, we've been hassling with the city for about two months while we were trying to get some uh, other legal stuff handled. They, were, they wanted to demo it, but if they would have demoed it, it would have come back to Adrian and they would have charged him, I don't know, eight or $10,000 to demo it and haul it off. So anyway, he decided his best to sell it to us. We bought it. We're gonna try to save it. Uh, we bought it for 17,500. It's over in Government Hill. We're probably two to three blocks from the entrance of Fort Sam. Uh, so we're thinking we're gonna keep it and make it an Airbnb. Uh, let's go around the back and I'll show, show a little bit to you. Uh, I think I think the Airbnb in this area is bringing probably 100 to $115 a night. Uh, we think we're probably gonna spend 60 to 70,000 in rehab, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but we're thinking we can get totally into this property for under $100,000. And it appraised at $198,000. Uh, you see the fire started just on the other side of this wall. Uh, the renters had two refrigerators plugged into the same outlet and one of them heated up and burned the house. Let's go around back here. It's got a huge lot, so it has potential for a second dwelling or an additional dwelling, however you want to call it, in the very back. And we have access with this little driveway to go to the very back. We're gonna put a parking pad right here for the front house. I'll take you guys in and we'll do a little uh, a little walk through it. I'll try to move the flashlight slow so my camera person Anita can can keep it uh, keep it in view. Hi everybody. Okay, guys. Right now, it's a two-bedroom, one-bath. You can see all the smoke damage. The fire started up in the front of the house. Here's one of the bedrooms. You'll look in here, and you'll see all the, all the smoke. So every room has total smoke damage. So we're going to tear it straight down to the studs and rebuild this whole thing. Hopefully, not much of the framing is uh, burned up. Pier and beam, so it ought to be it ought to be fairly easy to work on when we get it down to the studs. Here's the kitchen. This is where the fire started in that refrigerator, burned up. So. In here, you'll notice we got a little bit of floor damage because of the water and the fire ceiling heat up there. We're gonna have to replace uh, probably a little bit of that roof right in that main burn area. We'll step in here. <laughs> this is uh, this is where the here you go. Had to get some walkway there. This is the dining room. We're gonna move the kitchen forward a little bit and take up some of this space, make it a little bit bigger and put a bathroom in where the kitchen was. You can see they had all their belongings. Sorry about that, we, we had a little technical difficulty. Uh, but anyway, we're back. So here's the front door in the living room. Huge TV, everything's burned. Couch, everything. And here's the bath, the bathroom, the original bathroom. We're gonna totally revamp this. Here's the hot water storage area closet. I'm not sure we'll keep it there, but we will build something. But anyway, we're pretty excited about it because once we strip this down 
it'll be basically a huge rectangle and we can uh, and we can uh, a huge rectangle we can put any floor plan in we've already got it designed uh, but our main concern on this is really getting rid of the smell so we've researched and we're gonna either spray an ozone or heavy kills once we get it stripped down now other than that it's gonna be a blank canvas and hopefully uh, it'll turn out really pretty when we're done with it and hopefully we can get get us some good in, uh, income coming in every every uh, every month off this you'll have a good day thank you